Peplink's Synergy mode allows you to use multiple routers as one. This requires one Peplink router with an active care plan to act as your Synergy controller. This will be your main router that all secondary routers will connect to. These secondary routers are known as the Synergy devices. The first one you connect does not need a care plan, but any additional devices will. The connection between these routers is known as the Synergized link. Once the Synergy device is activated, it will act as a modem or client device without a management or configuration option. This instead will be handled by the Synergy controller. Note that the controller will display all the Synergized device's WAN interfaces, including Ethernet WAN, Wi-Fi WAN, and cellular. First, you'll need to check off some additional prerequisites to ensure Synergy mode is available and will work with your Peplink hardware. Make sure that both devices are running the latest build of firmware 8.3.0. They should all be on the same version. The Synergy controller must have at least one active WAN, excluding the one used to link the controller to the device. This WAN should be able to contact and control too. The Synergy device firmware has been hard-coded to contact and control too, and the feature license server despite whether it is added to in control too or not. Connect your computer to both the Synergy controller and device. I'm currently connected to my device a Max BR1 Mini via Ethernet and a Balance 20X as the controller via Wi-Fi. Log into the web admin of each and go to System in Control and make sure the controller option is set to in Control. The Synergy device must be reset to factory default settings after its upgrade to 8.3.0 firmware. You can either hold the physical reset button for about 15 seconds or go under System and Configuration to restore factory settings from the web admin. While that is resetting, if you have devices added to in Control 2, you should verify that you have disabled any existing in Control 2 provision settings. This must be done before connecting the device to the Synergy controller. At this point, all of your native WAN connections on the controller and device should be plugged in and connected to the internet. Also, connect an Ethernet cable from a LAN port on your Synergy device and connect it to a WAN port on the Synergy controller. Enabling the Synergy mode on the Synergy controller is done at the Network tab and WAN page. This is disabled by default. Click the pen icon to enable it and select a WAN port to use as a Synergy link. This should be the same port you just connected the Synergy device to. Click Save, then Apply Changes. The Synergy controller and Synergize device will start negotiation now. Wait for up to five minutes for this to complete. Go back to the dashboard page and you will see a note on the bottom that confirms the device is set as a Synergy controller. Once you see all the WAN links from your Synergize device listed here, it means the device is synchronized to the Synergy controller. You should also see the synergized link here, which should be left as is. For all the WAN links synchronized from the synergized device, they may have the serial number beside the WAN link. Ours does not, but on the Balance 20X, we can select the Synergy device from the top of the dashboard here, and it will highlight all of its WAN links. If you need to access the synergized device from the Synergy controller, go to Dashboard and click on the IP address at the Synergy link. A pop-up window will appear that shows the IP details of that WAND. At the default gateway, click on the icon. This will open a login page to the Synergy device. The admin credentials to access the Synergize device is the same as the Synergy controller. Here's what it looks like once we log in. If you need to make any changes to these WAN connections, simply go back to the web admin of the controller under the dashboard page. As you can see, this is quite simple and fast to set up, so at this point you can repeat the factory reset process with additional Synergy devices and connect those to any open WAN ports on your controller. Just remember to enable the WAN port on the controller to be used as a Synergy link. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more like it.